Good morning, Oklahoma, and welcome to this week's Cow-Calf Corner. Again, we're joined by Dr. Dr. Dan Stein, and we're continuing to talk about estrus synchronization. And this week, we specifically get into the different protocols that are available to us. Dan, depending on your objectives going into estrus synchronization, what, what can you tell us? Well, first of all, when we talk about estrus synchronization, we need to uh, really look at what our program uh, what we're trying to, to do here. One point I do want to get across to everyone today is that when I talk about estrus synchronization, we can synchronize standing heat or estrus, okay, or we can synchronize ovulation within standing heat. And when we talk about synchronizing ovulation within standing heat, uh, there, there's where we're talking about the use of what we call fixed timed or fixed appointment AI. Uh, what we've done is we've programmed those animals uh, that we're going to force ovulation uh, of that of that female and we're going to have uh, semen there uh, and hopefully timing is right and we have conception. When we look at our protocols, if I'm going to use a bull uh, for my semen source, uh, what I need to remember is that I am not going to synchronize ovulation within standing heat. All I want to do is bring in my group of animals, maybe uh, they're going to stand in a three to five to seven day window uh, and again that's my that's my grouping of, of my animals. If I'm just synchronizing standing heat only over that three to seven day window uh, my bull to cow ratio needs to be about less than one to fourteen and if I get above that our conception rate dramatically decreases. So again that is that uh, synchronization of standing heat. Now, if I'm detecting heat, I can still synchronize standing heat and I'm gonna be looking and detecting over, again, that same time period. Uh, so, again, it can get very time consuming if I'm going to detect heat uh, and I don't try to look at synchronizing ovulation within standing heat. In the last few years, we've got sex semen on the market and I know we, we tweak that plan just a little bit. Can you tell us what happens, conventional frozen semen versus sex frozen semen? Okay, if we're, if we're talking about using what I call a fixed timed appointment artificial insemination protocol, meaning that again, I'm gonna show up at your place and start breeding cows at a certain time on a certain day. Uh, if I'm gonna use sex semen, I need to see a standing heat uh, and then I'm gonna inseminate based on that time frame of standing heat. The doses that we have in our straw semen, um, we are guaranteed in a conventional straw semen, it's a half mil, uh, 10 million live normal cells. Our sex semen is packaged in either 2 million or 4 million uh, cells. Uh, so again, uh, we, we need to be very precise on our timing of insemination using uh, our sex semen and uh, we need to see a standing heat. Gotcha. Interesting stuff. And Dan, thank you for joining us again and, and thank you all for being with us on Cow Calf Corner. We'll see you next week.